Italy is thinking about doing something truly amazing, building the world's longest suspension bridge. This incredible bridge would stretch a whopping 3.2 kilometers across the Strait of Messina, directly connecting Italy's main part to Sicily. The idea of linking these two places has been around for a super long time, starting from the Roman era to now. From simple barrel bridges for war elephants to today's high-tech plants, it's been a dream for ages. The project is expected to cost around 4.5 billion euros just for the bridge. And it has faced lots of challenges like changes in politics, money issues, and worries about the environment. This big plan is not just about a bridge. It's a huge deal for Italy's development. The question is, will Italy make it happen and build the world's longest suspension bridge, or will it stay a big dream with all these tough challenges? Stick around with Superstructures to find out. The story of Italy's mission to construct the world's longest suspension bridge linking the mainland to Sicily is not just a modern engineering tale. It's a narrative with deep roots in history and necessity. The Strait of Messina, only 3.2 kilometers wide at its narrowest, has been a natural barrier separating Sicily from the Italian peninsula for a long time. This division has influenced economies, cultures, and lives for centuries. Despite its narrow width, this strait holds substantial significance as both a practical obstacle and a symbolic divide. The geographical challenge posed by the strait has led to a notable disconnect in travel and transportation. For example, the train journey between Palermo in Sicily and Bari on the mainland is similar in distance to that between Turin and Rome, but takes three times as long. This efficiency is mainly attributed to the slow and often unreliable ferry services linking Sicily to the mainland. Consequently, despite its close geographical proximity, Sicily is practically more isolated. Building a bridge over the Strait of Messina addresses this long-standing connectivity issue, significantly reducing travel time and integrating Sicily more closely into Italy's economic, social, and cultural life. The bridge would enable smoother movement of goods and people potentially transforming Sicily into a logistical hub and boosting its economy. The desire to bridge the gap across the Strait of Messina has a long history, reaching back to ancient Roman times. In 252 BCE, Consul Metellus made the earliest record attempt, using barrels and wood to create a temporary passage for transporting war elephants. This ingenuous but temporary solution highlighted the Strait's strategic importance as a crucial point for trade and military movements. The idea of a permanent bridge has resurfaced throughout history, with figures like Robert Giscard and Roger II contemplating it in the medieval era. The modern pursuit of this ancient dream gained momentum in the 20th century, especially after World War II when Italy revisited the concept in its nation-building and modernization efforts. In the 1950s, master bridge builder David B. Steinman proposed ambitious designs, setting a potential world record. However, economic constraints and technological challenges of the post-war era kept the project on paper. The dream re-emerged in the 1960s, fueled by advancements in engineering and material sciences. The Italian government, recognizing the potential economic and cultural benefits, invested in feasibility studies, uncovering challenges like strong currents, deep waters, and seismic activity. Despite these obstacles, the allure of the bridge persisted. As the 21st century unfolded, the once dreamlike bridge project transitioned into a tangible reality, taking shape with concrete plans. Designing a structure capable of withstanding the Strait of Messina's turbulent waters and seismic forces posed significant challenges. To transform this audacious project into reality, innovative technologies and engineering marvels were considered. Envisioned as a symbol of modern engineering, the Strait of Messina Bridge aims to be more than a mere connection between the Italian mainland and Sicily. As the proposed longest suspension bridge globally, it is designed to span an impressive 3.2 kilometers, with towering pylons reaching a height of 382.6 meters, surpassing the current tallest bridge, the Milau Viaduct in France. The bridge's ambitious design incorporates four traffic lanes, two driving lanes, and one emergency lane in each direction, complemented by two railway tracks and pedestrian lanes. 
This comprehensive planning underscores the bridge's multifaceted role as a conduit for various modes of transportation, including vehicles, trains, and pedestrians. Beyond its role as a standalone structure, the bridge is envisioned as a pivotal component within a broader network, encompassing 20.3 kilometers of road and 19.8 kilometers of railway links. On the mainland side, it is planned to seamlessly connect to the Salerno Reggio Calabria A3 motorway and the proposed Naples Reggio Calabria high speed railway line. Simultaneously, the Sicilian side is anticipated to link to the Messina Catania A18 and Messina Palermo A20 motorways, along with a new railway station in Messina. This ambitious connectivity plan extends beyond mere practicality. It represents a visionary urban concept seeking to forge a meaningful link between Reggio Calabria and Messina. By effectively creating an integrated metropolitan area, the bridge aspires to symbolize a substantial socio-economic transformation, potentially reshaping the dynamics of the entire region. Taking on the Strait of Messina Bridge project is an enormous challenge that involves navigating extreme natural forces through innovative engineering solutions. The Strait, known for mythical monsters Skyla and Charybdis, represents the perilous conditions any construction must endure violent currents, strong winds, and seismic threats. The turbulent strait, marked by alternating currents and frequent gales, poses challenges with the added risk of earthquakes due to its position atop converging tectonic plates. The proposed bridge design ingenuously addresses these challenges. To counteract violent currents, the design avoids placing any piers in the strait, simplifying construction and ensuring unobstructed passage for ships. On land, the bridge strategically anchors providing a stable foundation capable of withstanding seismic shocks. To mitigate seismic activity, the bridge incorporates a buffer system allowing the deck to flexibly absorb vibrations. Additionally, two colossal anchors, each consisting of over 5.5 million cubic meters of concrete and steel, secure the structure against the Earth's tremors, ensuring stability. However, this engineering marvel comes with its own set of challenges. Upon completion, the bridge is poised to surpass the current record holder, Turkey's Kanakale Bridge by over a kilometer, making it the world's longest suspension bridge. This vast expanse exposes the bridge to the strait's ferocious winds, presenting a potential vulnerability. To counteract the effects of high winds, the bridge's design incorporates an innovative deck structure. Instead of a conventional single deck, the bridge will feature three separate box girders one for railways and two for vehicular traffic. These boxes are connected by cross beams spaced every 30 meters, adding strength and stability. The clever aerodynamic design of these box girders works to redirect wind forces, channeling them upward through the gaps and mitigating the impact of wind speeds as high as 300 kilometers per hour. What are your thoughts on the prospect of success for this project? Do you think the Strait of Messina Bridge will transform from a dream into reality? overcoming its myriad challenges? Join the discussion in the comments below. For more captivating content, like, share, and subscribe to Superstructures and don't forget to turn on notifications. Goodbye!